The Medicare open enrollment period begins on October 15th and closes on December 7th. It's your only chance this year to switch plans or make other changes. I talked with Carol Rancourt, a Medicare educator for the Southern Maine Agency on Aging, about the importance of reviewing your coverage every year. Thanks for joining us, Carol. Nice to be here. Thanks for having me. We have something very exciting to talk about, maybe not as exciting as important, because it's coming right up around the corner, and that's Medicare open enrollment. That's right. Our Medicare open enrollment uh, for the past two years has started on October 15th, so it's just around the corner, and it continues up through December 7th. So that's the window that people have to check their um, coverage and make any changes without facing penalties. And this is for people who are 65 or older, so people who are just 65 for the first time this year really need to pay attention? Right, and anybody who's above 65 who's been on Medicare, there are some significant changes in the Part D side especially, so they're going to want to look at their plans this year. What, what is Part uh, Medicare Part D about? Part D is D for drugs. <laughs> so it's all your prescriptions, um, whether they be brand name or generic are covered by the Part D plan. And you were mentioning before, one of the big changes is a huge increase, is that correct? Yes. Um, this year in Maine, there are going to again be 28 plans, just like last year. But this year, out of the 10 most popular plans, seven of them are increasing their premiums. And we're talking double digit increases. The increases range between 11% and 23%. So that's a significant change. And when I said the more popular plans, for example, um, our last year our, our least expensive plan was Humana Walmart, which was at fifteen fifty. This year, twenty thirteen, I should say, it's going to eighteen fifty. That's only a three dollar increase, but percentage wise, that's significant. Some of the others, like Cigna and. Um, uh, a number of others are jumping even higher than that. So that's a significant factor for people because you're paying that increase 12 times a year. It's a monthly premium. And so that can significantly add to your costs. Now, um, the difference between the differences between the plans, is it, is it just costs no. and premiums? So other things people need to look at, of course, is are all of my drugs still on the formulary of the plan? And are the drugs that I'm taking at the lowest tier possible with the plan I'm choosing? And when you have the lower the tier, the least cost to you. So you want to keep, hopefully, as many of your drugs as possible in tier one or tier two, rather than tier three, four, five, or higher, because those drugs are going to cost you more. So it's always good to look every year to make sure with, with your current plan, um, where it's going to be in the following year. So w irrespective of the rate increases, I would recommend that people look, at least do a cursory look every year to make sure that drugs are on the formulary and in a tier they can afford. Um, the one saving grace for people that started last year is that there are now um, designated by the federal government five-star plans. And if your state has a five-star plan, you can change to that plan any time through the year. So you kind of have a safety valve if something catastrophic happens Does Maine have in the middle stock? of the year. We don't know yet. They have it. They, they will let us know actually on October 14th oh. what the five-star plans are. So last year, we did not have any five-star D plans. We did have two five-star Medicare Advantage plans. So Mainers did have a safety valve if they needed to move. And, and real quickly, if somebody doesn't make you know it within the open enrollment period, what's what's the consequences? Um, they're stuck for one calendar year. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> the changes happen starting each January first. So when they go to the pharmacy, if they haven't checked and they're in a, happen to be in a plan that has a twenty three percent increase, or maybe one of their drugs is no longer covered, there's not much they can do about it for a whole calendar year unless they move to a five-star plan. Does SMA offer any kind we of do. advice? When, how do people contact that? We do. Um, you can certainly stop at our office at 136 Route 1 in Scarborough anytime. We do have a Medicare uh, mailbox number uh, for phone calls because we always get a lot of phone calls this time of the year. And that's 
6524. And you may get a live person, but when the phone's back up, you'll be popped into the mailbox, but you will get a call within a day or two to set an appointment for you to review your Medicare information. Great. Well, it's really helpful for Smart to offer that service. It is, and it's a busy time of the year. Thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome.